Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I post content around motherhood, skincare and entrepreneurship with a sprinkle of lifestyle. In today's video, I am going to be talking about how I document my baby's milestones. The first thing I do to document my baby's milestones is use cards. So these are milestone cards. I got them from Amazon. There's so many in here and I absolutely love this way of documenting my baby's milestones. So at the top, you have like a content of of reference so you have from I can't wait to meet you hello well the first time the baby came home um, the first play date the first time swimming so there's all these wonderful memories to kind of keep and consummate and to basically just have at home for your own reference so when the baby is like 10 years old or when your child is like 10 years old you can like always look back and be like Oh, remember when you went swimming? Remember when you did this? What I always do is every time the baby hits a milestone, I use the card and I take a picture with the card. So the amazing thing about these cards in particular is that at the back, it has like a place where you can kind of write down your experience during that time. So uh, for example, my first time, my first bath. So for his first bath, I put the date he had his first bath. And then I put like, how scared I was when I did his first bath, who did his first bath, so my auntie actually bathed my baby for the first time and showed me how to do it. And um, I kind of explained like I was nervous, but he loved water and he didn't cry. And these are good things to keep because like, even though you remember this now, because you're like still in the early stages of being a mom, like 10 years later, you might forget that experience. You might forget how you felt or how the baby reacted. So I think it's a great way to kind of journal and document in a very easy, easy and concise and specific manner. So instead of just being like, oh yeah, the first time you had a bath, you did this. And then you kind of forget all the like nitty gritty information, but you can kind of keep it very concise. The first time you bathed, the date and how you felt and how the baby reacted. Also, you have things like the first time, the first time he came home. So like, at that time in my life like where was I where did he stay how was his room did he cry that first night and these are all the things that you kind of want to remember today well th this month as I'm filming this video he is eight months old so like today I will be putting the dates I will also be doing a photo shoot as well as writing um, basically my experience with him as an eight month old baby but what I like to do with these milestones is actually at the end of that month where they are like eight months or seven months, I like to write out like what they were doing that month. So like at the end of this month, I'm gonna write out what he was doing in his eight month time. Um, what did he learn to do? What does he like doing? How does he play? Um, what did he learn this month? And you know, things like that. So that's what I'm gonna be writing in these milestone cards. So what, why I like these cards in particular is because when you have the card, you can just literally place it next to them, take a picture, and it's really easy to maneuver. Whereas other props, you have to kind of keep the baby in a particular position to then take the picture. And I find it very like strenuous and like difficult to handle and manage. So I absolutely love these cards. How I stay on track of um, journaling the milestones is like literally every day I would look at the contents table and decide like which one he has done already or which one he's done today or this week and then I would just literally take the card put uh, put it next to him take a picture of him doing that particular thing like the first time he started to stand up I took a picture of him actually standing up and it was just really easy to manage and kind of track and everything so um yeah i love these cards and i definitely recommend it for every mom especially if you're a mom and you're busy or like you just you just literally just don't have all that time in the world to do like a big photo shoot or have the baby in a particular position it's easy to just get these cards put it next to the baby and take pictures not to mention you can also journal as you go which is amazing for motherhoods and especially if you're a first-time mom you definitely want to journey that journal that experience 
experience because you know if you have another child you can just look back and just see oh when did the baby start crawling when did the baby start um, sitting up when did the baby eat the first solid foods so it's like a good way of kind of almost mirroring the growth of each child as well so I think it's a really good way to look back and I love these cards because it's so in-depth like the first time the baby went swimming the first time the baby started cruising the first time the baby went on a play date so it's a really great um, ways of just seeing exactly the specific things that your baby did at specific times I really value that opportunity as well so the second prop that I use to track my baby's milestones although I don't use this prop all the time the traditional sheet so this sheet is uh, really good as well because it has this whole big space here um, and you place your baby down you put the circle and the arrow next to the week or the year or the month that your baby is and it's really good because then like you can literally take a picture of each time and you can see that growth in each picture in a particular one space one spot which is really good and what I love about this milestone tracker is that you can actually keep it until the baby is 12 years old so um well the baby is not really going to be a baby at 12 years old it's really good because like it, you can keep it for a long time and what i love about this as well is that like i said you get to see your baby grow in this whilst in the same position each like week or each month and i think it's a really good way of tracking um the growth like how tall your baby is or how chubby your baby got or like you know things that have grown and that you don't really notice with the cards you can notice with this form of photography so like I said I've literally used this only once unfortunately because I find it quite strenuous to get out the get the cloth out get him ready in position and then take the picture it's quite strenuous for me because I'm very busy but I do do it whenever I can I still feel like even if you do it every like two months or every three months you can still see that growth because like I said you can keep this until your baby is 12 years old so it definitely makes a difference that is how I personally document my baby's milestones um, let me know down in the comments below how you document your baby's milestones and how you basically journal the journey of motherhood and how do you journal the baby's milestones as well so I'll love to know down in the comment section below if you like this video give the video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and comment down below your thoughts as well as well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye <laughs>